Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about the ternary, ternary operator. So let's get into it. So the question was, Frederick, why is there is it that some programmers like to use an if else and some people use a switch and some people use a um, ternary operator? And I think this is a fair question. The short answer is that the there are different use cases for the if and the else and the switch usually, but at the end of the day, it's sort of the same thing. And the ternary operator is sort of also like just an if else. And the simple, well, the simple answer is that people have a preference in how they write their code. And this is the reason why I took this question is not because necessarily, I mean, it, it's a, it is a fair question, absolutely, but it's uh, it is uh, it's a very basic question and hopefully this gave an answer to someone who is just starting out to code to try to figure out this it's honest to god guys it's most of the time this is just a personal preference for people it's literally that sometimes that does make a, a, a difference but between the if else and the ternary operator it is literally just a personal preference and the reason why I want to talk a little bit more about this is because this here, right, this, this, this thing here, this is the cause of so many problems. What do I mean by that? Well, it's very simple. I mean that because you added this, re not that word, this idiotic way of doing two things in the same way. Because, well, they're doing the same thing, sorry, doing the same thing in different ways you have caused a fork. You have started introducing this idea that I just get so annoyed with. And this is the reason why we fight all the time. It's the same thing with single quotes versus double quotes and all of this nonsensical bullshit that programmers start, like, which it just causes problems. It really does. I mean, the ternary operator is not necessarily a, the best example of what I'm saying is just that it I hope you can follow along when I say that this is the same sort of issue as to as to okay why do we have I don't know three four five six seven different frameworks to do the same damn thing it's no point why do we have multiple mul like we don't know how many frameworks we have for doing web work or all of these different ways of structuring things, we have more than enough programming languages. I would say we have an X a surplus of programming languages. Like all of this comes down to quite often, honestly, like, honestly, it's re it's not that often that it, there's just this objective value to doing something. Some people will claim that there is always a very clear value to doing something over something else. But quite often it comes down to personal preferences. And it, in a way, it starts to, to me when I see these sorts of things, I, I usually don't care if somebody uses a ternary operator or an if else or however they approach it, as long as the code is well made. The, but on the other hand, when I see people who actually get excited about this sort of stuff and actually makes comments about it, then I, I kind of just roll my eyes immediately. And in my head, what I see is a teenager trying to argue with another, another teenager which mobile cover they should have and how many stars they should have or who, what's the coolest, which one is the cool. Like it's, the, it's such an immature and pointless discussion that I respect the people who, who get into this sort of stuff less. I, I really do. I really, really do. I just don't have the energy to do this sort of thing. And all of these problems that come from having this, these two different, th these two approaches to do the same thing could have been solved by just focusing on the structure that is the only structure that makes sense. And that is the if else. The reason why the if else is the only structure that makes sense here is because the ternary operator literally only solves one problem for you. It gives you the if else, but the, the actual if else statement can be extended upon until it covers a more complicated use case. It has, it encapsulates everything that the if else, the ternary operator does, yet it gives you more. It gives you the whole picture. It's a similar thing that I've been talking about in say in React land where the component is the perfect unit. I'm not saying that I'm not using functional fun, function components or anything like that. I'm just stating that everything you can do within that framework is a, is 
possible to do through the component but not through the function component therefore having both of these is literally for most people just a personal preference and i honestly think feel like that languages such as say go and python who enforce a syntax as much as they can like they just say this is the way we're doing this is the way to go it is the way to go for in my world it should it's not a artistic discussion it shouldn't be a personal preference i mean shit we even have one of the best principles which basically states that you should try to write code so that so in such a way that it looks like there's one person who wrote it we should all be consistent we should all do this you know when we're working as a team we should all uh, try to approach things in a consistent manner because if we do it makes it more comprehensible to everybody who is uh, who is uh, who's reading that code right and why and that that is true i i absolutely agree it's just it's very hard to do but and so we invent linters and other tools to make sure that oh we should you we should put the braces on the same line or under under the on the, the same condition statement like it's we, we we are saying one thing but in my world quite a lot of people are doing uh, doing something else and that is what the ternary operator pretty much represents to me it represents this, this, that we allow, we indulge people who have an emotional preference, who wants to see pretty code, to have an opinion about something that they should just stay the fuck out of. Because programming is not a, it, it's a tool. It is a tool that is meant to effectively help you solve some sort of problem. Adding in these syntactic sugar types of things and so forth, they do have a value, but these are emotional values. And I think that there is a cost to pay to, to indulge this sort of thing. And honestly, in many ways, I feel like we should just stop this. Like, because it's just getting worse and worse, especially in front end land where in, in, front, in JavaScript land, it has gotten to the point where now the user the developer experience is fucking more important than the product for real like have i don't know if you've been spending any time in javascript land but it's crazy like we have libraries for everything and people just add them in left and right to improve their own workflow they don't give a shit about page load times they don't give a shit about like sustaining projects and stuff like that and this is the ternary operator is to blame well, not alone, but this is exactly the problem. So what I want you to take away from this is that the reason why people use, say, the ternary operator or a switch statement or instead of an if else or an if else else if, etc, etc, is mostly because of personal preference. There's no really strong reason most of the time to use one over the other. It is pretty much oh up to you because maybe a ternary operator feels more feels nicer than an if else but you could write, write it in the same way and this is uh, one of the root causes as to why programmers go on in on the internet and fight with each other over what's right what's wrong etc etc and if you ask me i think that they're childish i think this is silly and i think that the best thing for everybody is if the language simply enforces one exact way of doing it and just pick one doesn't fucking just make sure that it can cover the logical like it can encapsulates the logic that needs to be expressed so that there are no you know so so it's not limiting you in any way so as long as it's not limiting you just pick one i don't fucking care which have a great day